Hey guys, what is up? It's Austin Wes, and welcome back to another video. Now, I hope you guys have been enjoying the Minecraft Let's Play series that I've been putting up for you guys. As you guys already may know, I'm actually at training right now for the army, so I've really been working hard trying to get this content out to you guys. I love hearing your all's feedback, it's what really keeps me going, and it's awesome. I absolutely love editing, making videos, telling my stories, and it's good to know that you guys love it as much as I do. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this life story. So, this story takes place in the very early Sauce and West days. I may have been around 9 or 10 years old. I want to say it was in the second grade. But school for me back then was cake. I mean, spelling tests, simple addition and subtraction, no drama. I wasn't stressing a bit. And I remember I had just started to get into playing RuneScape. <laughs> Alright. I was I was really heavy into RuneScape around second first second grade. I'd always play with my buddy. Uh, <laughs> I remember I'd run it up on my parents' OG Windows 5 half an ass oh, no, Dell no, computer. No. Every day after school, I'd either head to my old buddy's house and play Halo, or I was running RuneScape with Monla. All I know for sure is that those early days of no responsibilities and carefree living was cherished for sure. I remember I also shot trap for a 4-H team. Uh, shotgun, shotgun shooting, right? Like, you you go pull, bang, yeah. But anyway, I also played youth soccer. So, no, I didn't spend all my time inside back in the day. I was still getting outside. I was, I was getting my sunlight, all right? Anyway, it was around this time in elementary school, second, second or third grade, I don't know, but where I, where I live, I live in Kentucky, right? When I was in second grade, this massive apocalypse happened, all right? And it was like, I think they're called cicadas. They're like these flying beetle looking cricket things. They make noise, they're super loud and they're annoying. Um, some people fish with them. I don't know. You, I'm sure you guys look up cicada. You'll you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyway, I remember it was early fall, right? Early fall, maybe August, October, August. I don't know. It was one or the other. And it was it was in the middle of this cicada apocalypse. And I mean, there were thousands of these cicadas flying around like every day. You know, like the parks were infested with them. The schools they were all over the trees like they were all over the playground it was crazy there were so many of these things i i've never seen that was like actually my first time ever actually seeing them was whenever they all came out at once there were so many of them all right there were just so many and a lot of people were really scared of them right like they were kind of afraid you know they were young and then there were people like me that weren't really that didn't really care about them they just found them kind of annoying and fun to like mess around with right well, this life story is gonna be about one of those people that didn't really, that didn't really care about them, that just really had a little too much fun with them, alright? I'll, I'll say that. So, we're walking out of school, right? And it's, it's been a long day of school, it's about 2.30, we all get out, we're all heading on to the buses, right? These cicadas are flying around, everyone's like storming out, everyone's running the buses, the teachers are like, stop running, stop running, and then I'm just like, frick this, and then it'd be like, don't say that word, because the word, the word frick was just starting to come around back in that time, so like, the teachers were all over us for saying it, and I still remember my exact bus number that I would get on every day back in elementary school, which is kind of crazy, I, I didn't think I'd still know it. But I remember it was bus 113, and I get onto this bus, right, and we sit down, and there's there's this guy in the back, these fifth graders, all right, they thought they were all cool, they thought they were hot shit, you know, they, they'd bring their CDs, and they'd give them to the, uh, to the bus driver, and he'd play a CD, and one of these fifth graders had this Jason Derulo CD, right, and would always play it on the bus, it would annoy the living shit out of me and everyone around me like jeez remember it was riding solo by by jason derulo you know riding solo anyway so i remember one of the fifth graders go up and i was in second grade you know i was kind of chilling in the middle i was kind of cool with the fifth graders i'd i'd, I'd, I'd kind of sit back you know i'd be like yeah whatever but i wasn't cool enough to know exactly what it was they were always up to you know what i'm saying so the fifth grader goes up hands him the cd and walks back to his seat and then i hear i hear this buzzing noise from behind me right i just i just start hearing this buzzing i turn around and it looks like a massive black cloud of these of these cicadas fill the back of the bus all right absolutely 
like completely fills the back of the bus. Apparently, one of the fifth graders that it was the fifth grader that actually handed the bus driver the Jason Derulo CD. He had a jar of cicadas, let him loose on the bus, and it was it was so terrifying. I remember everyone was throwing their windows open, and this wasn't no ordinary small jar. This was like a big jar, all right. This is this was a big jar. There were probably about like a hundred to one hundred fifty cicadas filled, packed to this in this inside of this jar. Okay, the bus. All right, get this, get this. The bus had to pull over and call up a new bus just because there were there were so many cicadas on this bus. Like I remember, everyone was screaming. The bus driver, he was like getting on our, he was getting on everyone, telling everyone to sit down, calm down. And just to open up all the windows, we ended up opening the emergency exits. But anyway, I remember we pulled over and we got on a new bus and made ourselves back to the house. So, yeah, guys, that was probably one of the craziest times that I've ever experienced in my early childhood days around second grade. You know, that's whenever that's whenever I really started to become a gamer. So. It's cool being able to look back on those experiences and share them with you guys, you know, just, it's cool. It's really cool. I remember I finally got home and I remember looking in my bag and there were probably about six or seven of these cicadas just like stuck in, in my pockets and in my backpack. It was disgusting. Let me tell you now. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Smash like, let me know down in the comment section if it was quality or not. Follow me on Instagram at Sauce and Wes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.